All right, everybody, this is Ross. In today's video, we're gonna talk about gumi. It's a fruit that I'm really in love with and I uh, would love to promote as much as I can about this fruit so that more people grow it. In the time being, I wanted to just give you guys a little bit of a view. This is from my backyard looking out Onto my gumi berries, actually, right here is uh, my gumi bush. We have all kinds of plants here in this section of the yard. It's kind of like a food forest in that we have shade trees above and pawpaws on my right. There's a pear on our left. There's a persimmon on our left. We have quince right in here. There's a honeyberry right there. I just thought this was so picturesque. Even having the arbor that I constructed that will have grapevines on it at some point. Um, it's just been really beautiful. Uh, I don't know, I wanted to take a moment. But let me bring you guys a little bit closer here to this gumi bush. This has become one of my favorite fruits. I've talked a lot about it in the past. And the reason for that, I mean, you could tell kind of just by looking at this thing, look how insanely productive this is. This is the beginning of the fruiting process. The berries are just turning red. They're, a lot of them are orange and a lot of them actually are still a bit green. And when they're green and orange like that, you can see the variation in the coloring. They're very astringent and almost the astringency level of a persimmon. So you don't want to eat these when they're orange and green, although I do at the very, very beginning of the year because I love these fruits. I love eating these fruits so much. Even some of the red ones have still some level of astringency to them. But for me, I personally really like that little bit of astringency. And I just go crazy for these fruits, personally. Even when the fruits are not perfectly or totally ripe, I still very much so enjoy them. Now, as they do start to get softer, more red, and as they start to dry up on these bushes, they will lose that astringency. They'll become very sweet and the flavor profile will change. And then as they finally dry up on the tree and turn into that gummy bear state, which is what they're named after, right? Gumi. They were named that because they resemble a gummy bear. But that's only when they're dried or semi-dried on the bush. So we're still about, I don't know, two weeks away. If I left some of these very red berries that are on the tree right now, if I left them on the bush, they'll start to dry up. So anyway, I really enjoy this fruit because, I hope you guys can see me over there. Yep. But I, I love the flavor. That's of course my first and foremost the thing that matters to me the most uh, but there's almost nothing that bothers this i do have a net on it that's for the birds there will be other things that maybe try to get underneath here underneath the net and if you have other animals that could be a possibility but for the most part there's very few insects very few problems there's very there's no diseases that i know of and the plant just grows extremely well here, even in this very shady location. As long as you give it some decent soil, but you don't even need to give it decent soil because it's a nitrogen fixing plant. And that this really can be kind of thriving on neglect and do its own thing. Um, it's been very easy also to keep this thing contained and small. I didn't prune it much uh, because at the end of this fruiting cycle, the end of this fruits, I should say, when I take everything off, whatever I don't harvest, I will dry them. 
and turn them into gummy bears and have them throughout the winter. But after that, I will do the pruning. And that pruning actually is the perfect time to do propagation, I've learned. So I will root myself some cuttings with some rooting hormone and hopefully get myself a few more of these plants. Um, I've kind of got this whole process now down to a science, I think, and we'll get ourselves some good success. So that's kind of what we're doing here is we can just keep maintaining it. And there's even just these water shoots, by the way, that pop up throughout the year. And if you just prune those water shoots out, even in the wintertime, the thing stays six by six. It's so easy to maintain this at a smaller size. It's the perfect bush for any home garden. So anyway, let's try the fruits. I like to take them by the stem and I put two in my mouth at the same time. And I kind of just suck away the, the outside away from the pit because there are pits. Um, they are quite sizable, but this variety here called Carmine does a really nice job of having a good fruit to pit ratio. And the other varieties that you can find like Red Gem and Sweet Scarlet, they're very, very small. And in my opinion, probably not worth growing although if you wanted to grow them to taste the fruit not a bad idea but this one i i find also tastes very good it's uh a lot like fruit punch you're eating a fruit fruit punch um so lots of mixed berry flavors somewhat strawberry tropical flavor um astringency in there it's sweet and also has some good tartness and acidity to it. So it's a really well-balanced fruit. Like it's not just straight acidity. It's not just straight tart, like maybe a currant. Uh, it's not just straight sweetness. There's a like maybe a grape. This is, you know, it's got everything. It even has astringency, which is a very underrated thing, I think, in foods. And, you know, that's a, even a nice little part of wine, right? you can make a good wine out of this. So I'm going to try my best this year. Maybe we'll, uh, I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll try even juicing some of this, see what happens. But I promise you, I literally spend a lot of time underneath this bush, just sitting here eating the fruits and it ripens super, super early. There are about six fruits ripening right now, but this one is usually the one I go for the most. So that's the Gumi, guys. Thank you for watching this video. We'll talk to you all soon. Hit that subscribe button. Check out the other videos we've done now on Gumi. Trying to spread the awareness. Share this with somebody. Share the plant. We'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.